Nigeria's President Muhammadu Buhari warned Washington Wednesday that the U.S.'s refusal to arm his troops because of so-called human rights violations was helping the Boko Haram terrorist group. The 72-year-old former general has been warmly received on his first visit to the U.S. Capitol since his March election. I therefore strongly appeal to both the executive arm and the United States Congress to examine how the United States government can provide us with far more substantial counterterrorism assistance with minimal strengths. The longer we delay, the deadlier the Boko Haram gets. As Buhari was making his plea, Boko Haram militants are believed to have struck again, with two suicide bomb attacks in northern Cameroon, killing at least 13 people and injuring 32 others. Meanwhile, ongoing attacks in Nigeria have driven thousands of refugees into neighboring Niger, creating an even worse humanitarian situation in one of the world's poorest countries. But Buhari remains confident he will prevail in the fight against Boko Haram. The government that I lead is committed and will do whatever it takes to free Nigeria from the menace of terrorism. No matter how long it takes, we will reclaim every inch of Nigerian territory that is under the control of Boko Haram. Buhari is hopeful that his visit to America will pay dividends as Nigeria and surrounding countries continue to battle the Islamist insurgency.